Hi there, my name is Jorge Bustillos. I'm in front of, build, of the painting building. I'm in front of the painting I chose. The name of the artist that made this painting is Arthur Clifton Goodwin. The name of the painting is T. Wharf Boston and was made in oil, with oil on canvas. I will expose my formal analysis with a photo of the painting because it's really uncomfortable to me to hold the phone with my arm. Mm. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like an actual YouTuber doing this, blogging about art. Well, I will, start, I will get started with a formal analysis. I will start with the elements of art. Let's see. In pry lines used to trace the architectural features, also the boat, the water, Geometric shapes found all over the buildings, including the windows. Also irregular geometric shapes like the boats. It has facial texture. The artist also uses chiaroscuro to create the 3D illusion of this piece. The light source coming from the left, giving everything mass and volume. He also overlaps the boats and the buildings to show a perspective like which one is closer, which one is farther. In the water, he uses a variety of colors as dark brown because water in wharves are usually brownish or greenish and he painted the colors of the boats and buildings into the water to show its reflection. The primary colors found are yellow, the blue that it is in the sky, the secondary colors like green and orange, and there's also neutral colors like brown, white, and black. The artist implies motion into the painting. An example that support this is the smoke coming out from the very back building also the water the lines cutting the water creates a sense of motion that is very smooth the proportion shown in the painting is realistic relative to real life an example will, will be the size of buildings are bigger than the boats the artist make us focus in the boats because of the light value given to them, our eyes are attracted to them. The buildings also have light value. Our eyes kind of go back and forward between those two objects, but the boats are overlapping the, the buildings. So the boats are the focal point here. To conclude my formal analysis, there's also variety in the painting showing different buildings and different boats and it is an asymmetrical balance because of the because the buildings and the boats counterweight each side well to conclude I want to give a brief explanation of this painting why it was painted there were three American ships that were built in America they were full loaded with British tea. They were destroyed at Griffin's War. No one knows how this place looked like, but a lot of artists try to represent the place with paintings. So good one. This is a small representation in my opinion for us. Looks like a small place to have a war. Well, this concludes my video. Thank you.